Why hello there my fellow brothers, sisters, gamers, and anime lovers, Buster here again with another reaction video. And we got another crucial video that's been uploaded 12 hours ago. Alright, it's recent and freaking, this guy moves fast. <laughs> I love that he's dedicated to this, but the one thing I'm still expecting and waiting for is the connection to the multiverse freaking episode. We want to go to the alternate universe again and fight Hillary and freaking <laughs> Bill. Let's see how, and about that uh donald freaking terminator who followed them through the time space continuum still i hope you guys enjoy this remember to like comment subscribe to crucial then like comment subscribe to me if you really want to it's really up to you remember to hit that like button with everything you've got because youtube has been bullying everyone by not giving you the notifications that we're uploading stuff i've i have mine on on my alternate account to make sure that it's working but it's not so it sucks so ring that little bell also to make sure it does. Ah, it depends. YouTube is busted. All right, this is the president's go to Mount Everest. All right, how can Joe screw this up again? <laughs> They're on an adventure. Let's see what happens here right now. In three, two, one. Wow, Mount Everest. You know, I actually successfully made this trek back when I was in my younger years. Wow, really, Joe? Yep, it all became easy once my friend Leaking Larry and I invented our very own neat little trick. You had a friend named Leaking Larry? Yep, he leaked a lot. Wow, I never would have guessed. And what was that trick exactly? Well, Donnie, back in the 30s, Larry and I used to slick our entire bodies in Aunt Jemima's syrup so that it acted as a coating of insulation. Of course, not only would this protect you from frostbite, but it would also function to ward off the necromancers at the top of the summit who would regularly sacrifice unsuspecting hikers in order to summon the Dark Lord Bird Vargoth Loki. into being. Well, anyways, getting things back on track. <laughs> Let's ignore Kim, it's that. It's literally below freezing. You need to wear some additional layers before we head out. Kim. As if this climb wasn't dangerous enough already, what if we encounter a storm while we're out there? Yeah, the last thing we need is you not being able to keep up with us because you catch frostbite. Even with our combined strength, I don't think the four of us have the capability to haul your ass back here, Kim. Ah, <laughs> uh, apologies, Donald. Sometimes I forget that not everyone is 280 pounds of pure muscle with 4% body fat like I am. Horse no baloney. To haul me back. Yeah, that's totally what I was getting at. It's not the storm you should be wary of, Mr. President. It's the monsters that. All right, the who's storm. this? Holy shit! Is that John Schnatter? Kim, huh? how do you know who? who that is? Are you kidding me, Barack? In North Korea, Papa John's is a huge hit. All of my top generals. Oh, the restaurant. Okay. Garlic sauce. Can we not call him that? It is quite amazing, isn't it? Let's also not forget that he is the former CEO of that pizza chain. Yep. Essentially being forced to step Remember down that one. some controversy that he himself brewed. It was a fucking conspiracy, I tell you. They were out to get me, and not even the papa was able to fend all of them off. I felt like the last of the English colonists, <laughs> heroically striving for peace, while those Native American savages unjustly took my land and slaughtered my brethren without any provocation on our part. What? I'm not sure that's how that went down. They stole <laughs> my throne from me. I was a god. They all saw me as one. Just like how Pocahontas saw John Smith as her white god. And who are they exactly? Who do you think? Same people that went after Kennedy. The Illuminati. Either that or aliens. All right, I really think we should get out of here before this guy decides to tag along. Oh, I no. I always thought you had the best pizza around the block, Jonathan. Damn it, Joe. someone stop Joe before he gets us involved with this guy. I told you we should have gotten one of those child leashes just so Joe doesn't wander off. You watch what you say, Barack. He is a national hero in my country. He is practically like the father to all North Koreans. You know, I never minded the controversy Joe? surrounding you, John. Are you sure Joe about said that? an actual slur during one of his interviews. If he said that in an official setting, who knows what this guy said behind the scenes in the kitchen. Well, oh, maybe no. that's what made the pizza so tasty. I was goaded into that insidious snare, damn you. I never meant to say it. Green Goblin was right. The only thing that people loved more than a hero was to see them fall and fail. They robbed me from my throne with an orchestrated coup. It was like being chased by Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Gang, except instead of catching a monster, they caught old John Schnatter, CEO of Papa John's and Miracle Worker. Can we move on and go to Mount Everest already? I do, Donald. Papa, would you mind signing my robe when you get the chance? Just let me wipe my greasy fingers down first. I've been sampling some of my former company's pizzas for the past few years. It's been a hobby of mine ever since I left. I assure you the quality has gone down since I was unjustly expunged. This is my 500th pie this month. Holy shit, this guy's a nutcase. Okay, well, as enjoyable like you as guys. this was, 
We really have to get going before it's too late. Didn't you hear what I said earlier? You're not safe out there. Don't worry about us, Papa. We planned for this trip ahead of time. Oh, Kim meant Papa John. Okay. Shape, except for Donald, of course. I'd say we've taken the proper precautions. <laughs> I didn't mean the dangers about climbing Everest. I'm talking about the monsters lurking around it. Oh, God. The Yeti? The necromancers are still here? What do you mean by monsters? There have been sightings of Yetis here recently. No Indians here? Jesus, Joe. Come on, suit up, Mr. President. You won't make it without a guide out there. I'm tagging along with you. Oh, oh yeah, no. Thank you for the offer, but we actually planned on this trip being just the five of us. Welcome to our party, Jonathan. Joe, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Barack, no, I it. have chest day on Monday, which means I'm not trying to die here tonight. <laughs> if bringing Papa along boosts our survival rates and helps us avoid those Yetis, then that's what we're going to do. There are no damned yetis. Let's get a move on, Mr. President. So I'll explain everything okay. as we make our way to the summit. Okay. Stay close, Mr. President, and keep pace. If you lag behind, then you're most likely as good as dead. Letting Kim and Joe make the shot calls, God, this is a recipe for disaster. What do you two think? Well, despite the fact that he consumes 500 pizzas a month, I don't really have too much of an issue with it. How are you I mean, still alive? I that skinwalker and the giant kraken. Anything is possible, really. We might actually need him to evade those yetis. Seriously, George? Come on, Donald, back me up on this. Hey, John, what do you got in your bag? What do you think? Pizza. Pizza, of course. No, it... Six pies, to be exact. Never know when you might need them. Well, he's good in my book. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, that's love, it's food. All it takes is pizza to win you over? Yep. Oh, shit, you're right, Barack. Finally, some common sense. Hey, John, are any of them veggie pizzas? Hell fucking no. Pepperoni and sausage only. Oh, yeah, he's definitely good in my book now. I need to stop hanging out with you guys. Man, those guys are kind of <laughs> You're not sticking around. Well, you just mentioned pizza, so Donald is bound to catch up with us in no time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here now, so you can quit your whining, kid. <laughs> now that we're all here, how about you clue us in on what all this talk about the Yetis is about, Jonathan? So there's basically over a dozen routes to reach Everest Summit. But people usually only follow one of two routes, the North Ridge and the Southeast Ridge. People who traverse either of those paths end up missing. Hmm. A quick Google search confirms it. Tourist activity surrounding Everest plummets to an all-time low amidst concerns of vanishing hikers. And we're only now just hearing about this? Was it MSNBC? If so, then it's fake news. You'll find more accurate information on the Sci-Fi Channel. Well, I oh guess that explains God. why our reservations at the Are you that were so dumb? Cheap. How cheap exactly were they, Joe? $22 for a weekend stay. Holy fuck. And you didn't think to look into why prices were so low. There could have been a serial killer on the loose, or even worse, a furry convention. Donnie, oh, Wendigo! Would be a Just kidding! All Just the kidding! Way here at Mount Everest. Listen, Donnie, all of the expenses from this trip are covered by funds from the federal budget. I don't know what horror Unless game that was. It was really uh, YouTuber content-wise because many YouTubers played that damn game, and that scared the baloney right out of me. I think it's called Until Dawn. So it's <laughs> those Wendigos are really. <laughs> expensive things are the less Kamala gets mad at me why would Kamala get mad at you oh because I spend most of my days recording gaming videos she's the one that proposed the president's budget for this fiscal year she even forged my signature because I was in the middle of a heroes of the storm match with Donald was it the time we were playing Chogall yep that was a good ass game can't say I blame you you're telling me I'm going to die on this godforsaken mountain because you gringos were playing a heroes of the storm match relax gentlemen this is why I'm here my I know gosh. a safe way for us to reach the summit. Wherever you lead, I will follow, Papa. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad the wording. Say, how about we open one up? I'm starving. Rephrase. Donald, you had a 16 ounce prime rib with mashed potatoes and a large coke back at the lodge. Yeah, that's that was a whole that sounds, minutes ago, Barack. I'm hungry again. That sounds Sorry, delicious. I have a fast metabolism. Regardless, I don't think it's a good time to stop moving. Looks like a blizzard is about to hit us. Oh my goodness! How magical, Joe. You crystallized fossil. Just because you're about to keel over any second now doesn't mean that the rest of us want to go out alongside with you just yet. This way, Mr. President, there's a trail up here which will lead us to a glacial cavern. We can weather out the storm in there. Keep oh, moving, Joe. Did anyone else hear that? Hear what? I don't know. It sounded like a loud roar. I heard it too, Joey. It must have been Donald's stomach. Quiet, Kim. Holy fuck. It's the Indian. Uh, I mean, Yeti. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Joe, are you Joe. serious right now? What are you talking about? That is a snowman, Joseph. What? No, it can't be. I saw it, I know I did. Jesus, my heart! Joseph, you try to prank me like that again and I swear I'll strangle you. More like sit on you. You dare possess the audacity to insult my aesthetic physique and washboard abs, Donald? Guys, <laughs> you both look like sumo wrestlers, all right? 
So with that having said, let's get moving. I don't believe that one bit. Ourselves. In this storm, I'm starting to like this guy. Ha! Huh. He called you a sumo wrestler, Donald. And I call you a war criminal, George. I know what I saw. I know it. Start moving, Joe. Don't get left behind. Oh, no. John, how did you come to know of this route? I discovered it myself. In my years since I stepped down, I've been frequenting Everest quite often. It's a place of serenity and seclusion to me. It's my zen, if you will, like a donut shop for cops or a happy ending parlor for League of Legend players. This place helps me gather my thoughts and focus what? on how I can reclaim my lost empire. From the ashes of my company, I'm a league player, shots, but I will emerge what? like a messiah, either that or a phoenix, whichever is more badass. Fascinating that you discovered this. This is great. I feel like I am Lord Vader on Hoth, traversing the ice tunnels to smite down those thankless... Okay, Star Wars rebels. fan and Terminator now. How about the missing hikers? Isn't it possible they just got caught out in the storm like we almost did? I mean, without John here, we probably would have frozen out there. Well, the problem is it's not only just the hikers that are disappearing. The corpses that surround Everest have also mysteriously vanished. Some say there are signs of a beast roaming around where the bodies used to be. Others claim that something out there is eating them. Seriously, Donald? Shut the hell up, Kim. Well, what do you think happened to the bodies, John? Leprechauns. Okay. Jewish leprechauns, to be exact. All right, then. Exactly how long can one of these blizzards last? You're not going to like the answer, Mr. President. How long? Well, how many toes do you have on one foot? Three. It was a genetic defect. Back in my high school years, I even got nicknamed Toad for that. Well, the answer was supposed to be five. Damn, I was close. Hours? Days. Holy shit, we're gonna die. Quiet, Joe. Thankfully, we have John here with his six pies. That should be and more than enough to get us through this catastrophe ushered in by Mother Nature. Here, I'll take these five, and you guys can have the other one. Think there's I... pineapple on it. Donald, you must be high if you think Colossal Kim is settling for just one pizza. I am not going into chest day on a caloric deficit. Well, best get comfortable, Mr. President. We're going to be here for a while. I can't believe Donald actually took five out of the six pizzas for himself. This might actually turn into our favor, Barack. How so exactly? Well, think of it more as a redistribution of nutrients. The fatter Donald is, the longer he will sustain the five of us. Are you talking about eating, Donald? Jesus, Kim. <laughs> We've been in this cave for four hours and you're already thinking about cannibalizing? Do you know how insane you sound? Listen to me. All if you're desperate, there's a different Valkyrie thing. Motherfucker, and we all can survive this series of unfortunate events. Think of it, Barack. Until Don did together. that. Not only would it guarantee our survival, but it will also serve to solidify the diplomatic ties between North Korea and Wakanda. Kim, are you saying Barack is from Wakanda? Never mind that. Kim, you do oh know my that Operation Valkyrie also failed, right? Wait, seriously? Yes. Also, Donald is one of our best friends. Just imagine if the others heard your ludicrous plans. No doubt they'd be deeply unsettled and disturbed. So you're saying I throw snow in his eyes, then Joe goes for the takedown? Kim's weak points are his knees and ankles. Get him on the ground and he'll be like a turtle, unable to upright himself. Then we won't have to worry about food problems anymore. He oh, can last us a month. Thank God. God. You think they'll try to stop us? George literally invaded foreign soil just for some oil. And have you seen Kim's forehead? Lots of grease up there. If anything, he'll probably help us by holding back, Barack. Well, I'm ready when you two are. Oh, you with no. me, Josephine? Always, Donald. Hey, Donald, you guys sound a bit excited over there. What are you guys talking about? Uh, nothing. Just talking about our Here we go. Amazing. Even in a distressing time like this, they still manage to maintain their composure and just think about the little things. Truly, I was in the wrong for even considering such a heinous act. Donald They're coming for you. Better men than I will ever be. What the hell was They're that? They're ready. I knew it. You guys didn't believe me, but I knew I saw it. It's an Indian. Fuck. It's a Yeti. I didn't bring my rifle. Stay behind me. If that pencil pusher Luke Skywalker was able to chop off a Wampa's arm, then surely an Alpha like me can do the same. No, wait. Hold on. Maybe all she wants is food. Maybe I can give her one of my pizzas and she'll let us go. How the hell can you tell that thing is female? Hey there, beautiful. My name's John. There's no reason to maul me. I'm just here to offer you one of my signature pies. Well, it definitely seems a bit calmer. John, you had an extra pizza and you didn't tell me? Of course. I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't have a spare pizza in the hidden compartment of my pack. Oh. I was just saving this one for a special occasion. What makes it so special? It's got shrooms baked into it. Look, all signs of aggression are gone now. Goodness, what a gentle giant. 
Joe, that thing just tried to kill us a minute ago. <laughs> Guys, she's whispering to me. She just told me her name is No. Is this guy fucking serious? No. <laughs> Guys, she wants me to stay with her. No way we're leaving you, Jonathan. Now let's get out of here while that bitch is still tripping. The hell, Joe? She's saying she wants to make Yeti babies with me. Can I watch? What the fuck is happening? Look, even if I did want to leave, Miranda will just go out and meet other hikers the moment she finishes this pizza or the second I left. I know what I'm saying. Go! I'll collapse the entrance to this cavern behind us. That way, no hiker will ever be put at risk again. I see now that this was all fated to happen. Stepping down from Papa John's, then meeting all of you. It was a higher power meticulously shepherding me to this point, to meeting Maya. Thought you said her name was Miranda. Who the fuck cares what her name is? She's smoking hot. Go now, Mr. Presidents. Live your lives to the fullest. Look at this act not as a sacrifice, but as a man finally righting his wrongs. Remember me not for the mistakes I made in the past, but for the positivity I will usher into the future. Farewell. Rushal, you really know well, how to blow my picture. mind. I really did want to try some of that shroom pizza, though. As sad as it was to leave John up there, in the end it was what he wanted. A bittersweet conclusion to our journey. He's dead. I'm just glad we didn't have to jump Kim after all. Wait, what? Yo, <laughs> you idiot! You were gonna jump me back in that cave, Donald. How insidious. I would never harbor such an ill intent towards you. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, <laughs> the Yeti encounter was basically uh I've been watching a lot of things today and that is by far comes in second to what broke me before. The one thing that broke me was TF2 uh C scene Ceno Zero uh, Putis Engage, which broke my mind. If you're curious about that, check out that my channel. And just watch me just... My mind just go... Alright, hope you guys enjoy that. More videos will be on its way. And I'll see you again soon in the next video. Although I'll be gone for a few more days. I, th I think I'll be recording this, but I'll upload it at a later time. So, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you again soon. Remember to keep hitting that like button to get me recommended to you, and make sure that you're always notified, alright? I'll see you again soon. Buster here, finally signing out.